The 82nd Airborne Division's Interoperability Program has brought 2nd Brigade Combat Team and 16 Air Assault Brigade from the British Army together in training over the last two years. The two nations are conducting combined training between their elite, highly deployable, quick response forces to create solutions to key functional differences, knowing that future conflicts will not be fought unilaterally. The years of training have led up to the largest multinational exercise at Fort Bragg in nearly 20 years. The combined joint operational access exercise has been a seven-week exchange between the British and the Americans on the end of two years of work about interoperability so that a UK battalion plus all of its assets can operate inside a US BCT. So this was a seven-day exercise beginning with the Joint Forcible Entry last Monday. That saw 2,100 paratroopers exiting from 23 aircraft, including two British aircraft, uh, onto a drop zone. That was the first major uh, waypoint that we had to hit. The British Battalion Plus Size Element joined two BCT weeks prior for preparation to endure the same rigorous 96-hour sequence pre-deployment process the brigade would undergo in the event of their call to action as the nation's global response force. The leading operations in the exercise placed 3rd Battalion of the Parachute Regiment under mission command of the U.S. Brigade, but the final offensive operation put U.S. elements under the direction of the 3 Power Commander. Watch out, lads! 3 Power received this mission to destroy this training camp two days ago from Colonel Ryan. In order to achieve that mission and to prosecute it successfully, I could only do it with a series of U.S. combat enablers, a rifle company human enablers, tactical PSYOP teams, EDSLT. When you combine all of those enablers, plus the aviation element to get us into the fight, add that to three power and what we bring to the fight, and you've got a very, very capable and powerful force able to achieve the full mission set. Communication is a major focus area during the planning and tactical portions of the training and is vital to information control and distribution. I need your location, over. Mission command is uh, many times, even unilaterally, our, our defeat mechanism. If we don't do it well, we're going to lose. Um, so we pay a lot of attention to it when we are uh, working our interoperability issues with the UK. Let one six push one kilometer to the west. One of our uh, baseline components is what we call the EDSLT concept, uh, Expeditionary Digital Support Liaison Team. Uh, that's a component that we add to 3Para. The units have been successful in integrating enabler assets to one another's ranks, but the leadership continues to look forward towards an even greater advance in interoperability. Uh, in order to get truly interoperable, we have to get away from adding the people and just making sure the UK forces have the system. We took a uh, few strides toward that objective during this exercise. We've got some more to go to really get to where we want to be. Three, two, one, go! Last way, that way! Come on.